Welcome aboard Blink, a 2018 Regency P65 motor yacht. This is one of the first boats we built through Premier Yachts, now listed by Seattle Yachts. We sold the owners a new boat. This is one of the highest quality boats you can build in this size class. A lot of great features in this boat. You can do El Fresco dining back here. One of the cool features that we put in this boat, which doesn't seem like a big deal, is an ice bucket. And yes, this ice bucket actually drains overboard, so when the ice melts, you don't have a big pot of water here. Just a cool little feature. You have port and starboard aft deck helm stations, which we can show you here, which is nice when you're backing into your slip. So main engine controls, balance st stern thruster controls, start and stop engine controls. It's really nice when you and your cruising partner have your headsets on, you can talk to one another and maneuver the boat from anywhere. This boat also has a yacht controller so you can walk around the boat and maneuver the boat that way. You have these beautiful curved sliding doors that bring you into this open salon area. And if you look through the salon, you'll see all the way through to the helm console and you can see the navigational equipment from here. So really open concept design. Other thing you'll see as we go through the boat, this is all walnut interior, it's a horizontal grain. And again, it probably doesn't seem like a big deal, but your eyes follow the grain. You don't have that vertical look that you see in most boats. It's like having a scratch in your windshield and it's vertical and you're looking at it every time your eye moves back and forth. This was a custom interior that was originally designed by Sylvia Bolton, along with myself and my wife, Kristen. It's really beautifully done. You'll see all high-end finishes throughout the vessel. There's nothing that we put in this boat that was not of the highest quality. So step on board. Again, if you pan around, you can see nice, bright, great visibility. All the things, all the soft touch materials, if you get aboard this boat, this is not what you expect to see in a production built boat. We are a semi-custom builder. Everything from the cube lighting, the overhead uh, bubble lights, the stereo equipment, the bar area, all of our countertops, if they weren't spec to be walnut, they're all stone countertops. This is granite. I think this is called White River. The recessed uh, sink, the beautiful modern faucets. Cloth, uh, how about that? I can't even say glass locker, something like that. I'm not sure. Again, it's unprofessional video. That's what you're going to get. I warned Jeff ahead of time. This was a custom piece that was commissioned in Seattle by Sylvia Bolton. There's actually, if you stay right there, cool feature here in the in the galley is you got this splash guard with the same design. So when you're cooking in here, you may have a pot of soup on. If it splashes, it doesn't splash down there on your friends. So this is a really cool feature. And then stepping up into this, we call them two, two bottom galleys. Uh, there's actually, unfortunately, we have, there's a double cushion for lounging up on the flybridge and they have that part of the cushion on top of here. You'd see how nice and bright it is. It brings in natural light. But again, you have the White River Stone up in here as well. Have the double Franke sink. There are inserts that drop in here. So if you need strainers, second sink, Instahot. Pure, this is pure drinking water. So you have Instahot and cold, but there's it's all filtered water. Another great feature in this, which you don't find on most boats in this class, is there is a water circulation. So from the hot water heater, there's a pump and it circulates hot water to the galley sink and both of the forward heads. So when you flip that on within about a minute, you have instant hot water. So you're not wasting two or three or four gallons of water while you wait for the hot water to get to your faucet. Again, when you're anchored out in Alaska someplace, even though you have a water maker standard on board this boat, you don't waste your potable water. Other features, Speed oven, speed oven, induction cooktop. Quality, this boat is, go, is leaving for the summer cruising, so you can see it is outfitted accordingly. Uh, great little locks here that stop these from opening up if you get in rough seas. Really nice. Hardwood floors throughout, so you have walnut in this particular boat, they're all walnut, and then the floors are oak. Gives a really nice contrast. Leads us up here to this beautiful pilot house helm station. It's really cool. These chairs spin around. This table folds out. 
It's beautifully finished table. And, sorry, beautifully finished table. And so you can dine up here as well. So while you're cruising, uh, your cruising partner can make the food, have it here, or you can have this folded out with the seat slid forward or turn around and, and dine while you're cruising. Another feature of this boat, again, it seems like a small thing, but when you look around the windows, you'll see the dark, soft touch material and all the window trim. So what that does is it cuts down the glare from outside and now you're focused on what you're seeing outside. And your visibility over the bow, you're seeing within 20 feet of the bow. So look at the visibility that this offers. Uh, yeah, top quality Garmin navigation, uh, Westmar brand for the stabilizers, hydraulic balance stern thruster, and they're 33 horsepower, not 10 or 15 or 20. And we also install two hydraulic pumps, and what that does for us, that gives us a high volume of fluid going to the thrusters, so you never have to go above idle speed to maneuver this boat around. This thing spins, it's fast. It's impressive how this boat maneuvers at the dock. So, again, Stabilizers, balanced stern thrusters, water maker, hydronic diesel heat, chilled water air conditioning, et cetera, et cetera. Electronics have AIS, autopilot, all those things you expect to have. KVH satellite TV, Starlink system. It's really well outfitted and ready to go. So, it's a great book. Make sure you down below. Another cool feature is on most boats, this is where you, it goes across. We open this up so you get all this natural light into the foyer. We, we do this fun art nook piece here and we've got some fish swimming up to the sky. It's really cool. Nice foyer for anybody that likes to do laundry. Separate washer and dryer. Plus a really nice tall and deep, you know, for all the fun things you have on the boat. Uh, so you got a utility locker there. And then double doors that open up into this king size full beam owner suite. So it's a king size bed. Again, fun lights, the nice bubble lights. They're on a rheostat. Reading lights also have two reading lights up above. And then when you look at these port lights, the center port light on both sides, plus the one above the marine toilet, these open. And these are an escape hatch if you ever need it. The other thing that's really cool, and it's right above the photographer, is you close this door, you open this up, and you have a uh, escape hatch up into the pilot house. So just another feature, you step on the bed here and you, and you go out if you really needed to get out of the vessel. Safety features, we really consider safety. The hull of this boat has two layers of Kevlar from chin to chine to chine and three layers in the impact zone. I won't bore you with the other details. If you want to know it, just reach out to us and we'll tell you about it. There's a great shot of that. That goes into a walk-in clothes locker. But look at the book match of that walnut. Those are all done by hand. They're done in Taiwan uh, by the folks that we buy all uh, wood veneers from. And the wood that you see in here is all from the same tree. So it's peeled from the same tree. We handpick every piece of wood that goes into this boat. The veneers, the hardwood, they're all hand chosen. So we just don't say, hey, we need 145 sheets of 4 by 8 veneer. We go and handpick every piece that goes in. Just another small detail. Um, that leads around. There's a lot of storage, as you can see, as Jeff pans around. St storage drawers under the beds, in the bureaus, port and starboard side. Then it leads you into this beautiful head. I'm gonna, I think I'll let Jeff go in here. And what you're going to see is all of our boats are really built like a five-star boutique hotel. So when's the last time you saw on a boat that they do a waterfall edge in your head? I mean, look at this, even curved the corners. Just beautiful craftsmanship. Now this boat's six years young. You'll find no fatigue on this boat anywhere. It really shows well. Jeff is standing in the shower that four people could stand in. Not only do you have the normal wand that you can adjust, but you've got a rain shower overhead. And I was mentioning this port light too. I, I've shown at boat shows going through this to show people a 200 pounder can make it through that port light. Again, just another nice feature. And these faucets coming out of the wall, you don't find this type of detail on most yachts. This is a heated mirror as well, so a defrosting mirror. So you jump in the shower, turn the switch on, mirror heats up, and now you don't have to worry about if you're going to put your makeup on or shave. You don't have to worry about having a frosted up mirror. So This is just a fun thing. We actually took a picture frame and reversed it. 
and enclose the TV to give it a really cool modern look. Simple thing, but a great detail. Another great feature is you look at this wall. There are three sheets of veneer here. And you tell me where it's been put together. It's not there where you see dark grain. It isn't. You, you cannot feel it. You cannot see it. All the veneers you see, if you were looking at, like on the steps, this is all hand wrapped. This is done by hand. So we build the framework and smooth it all, and then we go in and the guys hand wrap all this veneer. Again, most people are not doing this type of quality woodwork. New Ocean Yachts who built this boat for us, it's in conjunction with, the, with Hampton Yachts out of Shanghai. They have a facility in Taiwan, and Jason Cal that runs that yard really knows how to produce one of the best boats you find in the marketplace. Greatest feature about this stateroom is how low the bed is. You have this island bed that you can just sit on. Your guests can roll out of bed. It's not like the princess and the pea where the bed's this high. And they can't sit up in bed and read because your head's so close to the ceiling. You can see I'm not the tallest guy. I'm five foot ten, and then I still have this much headroom above me. It's really nice. And again, natural light, port lights, nice size port lights. You have USB plugs, all these things that are up by the bed all your normal little creature comforts, and then you have a head that is really up and beyond what you'd see on most vessels. You look into the shower, nice size shower, has a seat, it has a place you put your foot if you're shaving your legs, and that beautiful piece of granite that goes floor to ceiling, it's a nice focal point of the shower. We try to do the shower so there's minimal amount of metal, it's glass, so it's really open. All Tecma quiet flush toilets, and if you have puppy dogs, we have a dog wash. I know that sounds funny, it's over by the toilet. So we have a deal so you could, you know, either put the dogs in the shower or there and you can wash them in the sink. And again, the waterfall edge, storage behind, uh, just a lot, oh, I shouldn't forget. Both head floors and the galley floors are heated, right? So I have a hydronic diesel furnace. So these are all heated off the furnace and you have a circulation pump to pump the fluid around to heat the floors, so it's nice. You can just have that turned on and not run any other heat in the boat, and it keeps it nice and toasty. It's really a cool feature. There you go. And there is a guest stateroom, but to be honest, we moved everything in there so we could shoot the boat. So we are not going to show you, but it has side-by-side -side twins. But we'll go up to the flybridge. We'll show you that real quick. All right, from the pilot house, you have these easy access stairs. You have a grab rail built onto the door here. You have one, so when you're going down, of course, there's a full handrail around the stairs, and then a grab rail for safety here as well. Some great features of the boat. One of them is this stainless steel hand-built Venturi. Lots of times you'll see these, they're just pieces of stainless with plexiglass screwed onto them or they might do some kind of fiberglass one. This is all custom made. I believe this is done by Aerotex in Taiwan. Uh, we use Manship and Aerotex for the different stainless steel features of the boat, which you'll find on other quality built boats as well. The enclosure is really nice. This was done, is it easy to see why? It was done by uh, Seattle Canvas, Brian McLaughlin. So, great features. First, of course, the helm station. Uh, repeat of the Garmin equipment, so you have the same control features here that you have at the lower helm station. Stabilizers, thrusters, all of that. But one of the cool features is up here. I know I'm not a supermodel, but I'll tell you what, my 64-year-old body, when I want to lay out in the sun, I don't want everybody coming by and, and saying something to me, so I come up here and lay. So you've got a double bed up here, and depending on how the boat is, you're in the sun or you're out of the sun. But it's a really cool feature. Talking about the skylight that's in the, uh, the galley, here's the fixed skylight. So when you have this open, and this is so and so, it hinges, this is open, natural light in your galley, it just doubles the amount of light that comes in. It's really a really cool feature. Again, something that you just do at the factory, so that's just another cool thing that adds to your boating fun. So, 
course you have dual helm seats, L-shaped settee, one-of-a-kind custom-built table. We design these and build them at the factory, so we make custom molds, and you have this glass and fiberglass table, and you can hold like your, you know, the ketchup or whatever your condiments are while you're having dinner up here. And then you have this beautiful bar. I don't think you'll find many bars that have this three-layer cracked glass serving bar. What's cool about this is that it, you have this serving bar, but it doesn't, it's not heavy, and it doesn't fill the space. So you have a really nice L-shaped serving bar, and inside, and again, now I'm gonna tell you, I haven't looked in here, so I don't know what we're gonna see, but other than, I know the refrigerator's in here, but you have uh, a few adult beverages, some healthy drinks, and an ice maker. So very cool. But this is a nice place, again, when you're entertaining guests, got a nice proper bar here if you want to take family and friends out and then these are tinted uh, eyes and glass panels that are they're actually polycarbonate panels that really cuts down the sunlight and helps to keep this area cool and you step out on the after deck and you have a barbecue center with a fire magic barbecue and it's propane well this one's actually electric you do have a propane locker but that's actually an electric barbecue that the owners wanted to have on board. So it's really nice. Then you have this, and this will go with the boat, as I understand it. This is a Czar 2 tender, which is about as good as you can get for a tender. It has a Garmin GPS system on it, the map, GPS map. Uh, of course, it's 60 horse Yamaha, so this thing really scoots. Uh, also, you have a canister life raft. So if the, something were happening to the boat, that would self-deploy. And then the other safety feature you can throw to a partner is the life sling. 1600 pound power rotation davit system. And we put our davits on the aft end of the flybridge and the reason is now you can, you can deploy the tender or retrieve it on the port side, but you can go into a marina, dock your boat and then deploy the dinghy over the transom. So you don't have to deploy if you're in the Northwest, you ever go to Rush Harbor, most of the time you have to deploy your tender before you go into the marina and tow it in with you. It's just an extra bit of challenge. You don't have to do that with this boat. It's really a cool thing. Of course, other little things you have, I mean, you have the hard top, which is really nice. You've got uh, hatches in the hard top that are reverse, so it brings the air in and helps air to go out. But in general, it's just really a beautifully built boat. Truly, Blink is a quality built motor yacht that's easily handled by one person, especially with the yacht controller. You can step off the boat, tie the boat up the dock by yourself. If you're going through locks, it's easy. So if you want to look at a quality built mid 60s foot yacht that if you wanted to buy a new one, it'd be 4.4 million. This boat's $2.7 million. It has very low hours and it's only for sale because the owners have a new boat on order. Welcome everyone to the engine room at Blink, the 2020 Regency P65 motor yacht. One of the cool features of the boat, and there's many in here that we'll point out, one is having these D13 Volvos, and I need to check the hours, but I believe it's under a thousand hours on these engines, coupled to twin disc transmissions. Also, each engine set has a hydraulic pump set on it. Now, what's nice about that, since this boat has hydraulic balance stern thrusters, that at idle speed, you have the majority of thrust at idle, so you don't have to adjust the electronic controls. Take the butt out of gear, rev it up. You have 100% maneuverability in most weather conditions to get the boat to and from the dock in and out of your slip. Really nice. So that, they also work as a backup, so if one fails, you have a backup pump, but they also work in unison together. Then you also have dual Northern Lights generators. If you're not familiar with the heritage of the Northern Lights generators, check out Northern Lights website. These were designed and built for the Alaska fishing trade industry. They have to be very dependable. Other great features in the boat, of course, is this has a hydronic diesel heating system. It has air conditioning. You also have our version of a Delta T system for uh, filtering the salt out of the air that comes in the engine room. That's why these engine rooms are really clean in our boats. Uh, you have 
a Thord ship, which means going across the vessel, fuel tanks, and in between, I know it's hard to see past this massive stomach of mine, but you have two and a half inch inner diameter crossovers between the tanks. So you only have to fill from one side. You have fuel fills on both sides of the deck house. The deck house is the main salon house. The fuel fills are on the side and the vents for the tanks are on there, there as well. So you don't have to worry about spilling fuel into the water when you're taking on a thousand plus gallons of diesel. You also have an emergency bilge pumping set. Uh, you won't be able to see it because the covers are on, but the engines can be used for pumping the bilge in emergency situations, so those things we thought about. Uh, be very difficult to put a hole in this boat because it has two layers of Kevlar from China to China. I could go on and on. There's other great features in the engine room, but you can tell it's stand up. As long as you're under six foot one, it's stand up headroom. But this is pretty nice. You can easily get around and service all the equipment around the engines. Easily service the generators. We put the generators on uh, stainless steel platforms. Makes it easier. First you can store things underneath. Makes it easier to service the generators and great access uh, to get to the shafts and stuffing boxes that way. Probably the greatest feature of this engine room is this stainless steel engine bed. Most manufacturers will do eight independent beds. So you have one here, one here, and then two on the other side. Same thing with the starboard set. By doing this one long stainless steel engine bed that goes over the heavy stringers, you have a rigid platform for your engines to sit on. Reduces any amount of flex, helps with vibration, gives you just a very solid platform. We get a lot of kudos from the engine manufacturers for this type of system that we put in. You don't find this on a lot of motor yachts. So again, just another great feature. So you want to learn more about the boat? Reach out to myself, Martin Snyder at CLYachts.com or one of our qualified team members around the U.S. Thank you very much.